Okay, I'm going to demonstrate some simple techniques for developing an equation that estimates the linear relationship between two variables. Uh, this is sometimes called regression, linear regression, or ordinary least squares regression. And if we're only interested in whether or not there is a relationship, we can either calculate the correlation or we can visualize it with a scatter plot. And I'm going to start with that. So I've collected some data here, and uh, we have weekly returns for S&P 500, Apple, and Gold. And uh, the interesting thing about this data is around this time, uh, Apple became the largest stock by market capitalization. So there was a lot of talk about Apple in the marketplace. All right, so I'm going to start by making a scatter plot of uh, the S&P 500 uh, against gold. So I'm just going to select that data and from charts I'll insert a scatter plot. Okay, we don't really need the legend, but from the scatter plot, all right, if we were just trying to discern whether or not there is a relationship uh, we can see that, well, it doesn't look like we can predict anything about uh, how gold moves from S&P 500. Okay, I'm going to compare that now to a similar plot of uh, S&P 500 and Apple. Okay, so same thing, insert a scatter plot. Okay, and uh, from this chart, we can see, well, there's a much different story. Okay, it looks like there's clearly a direction that as S&P 500, which is on the x-axis, goes up, uh, so, does, so does Apple. So they seem to move uh, in the same direction. All right, much more, care, much more closely than, than, say, gold uh, and S&P 500. All right, now on for the regression. And uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, regression is the development of a, an equation that estimates the relationship between variables. Uh, this is often referred to as a model. All right? And the model can be developed pairwise with a dependent or response variable, and that's always on the y-axis. Okay, And uh, on the x-axis, uh, we call that the independent variable. Okay, so somehow it is uh, in influencing the response variable and, and making it move in a certain direction. All right, I shouldn't say it's really making it move. It's, it's not, we're not proving causation here. We're just observing that, that this, in fact, does happen when, when Apple goes up um, or when S&P 500 goes up often enough, uh, Apple goes up too. All right, we can develop more complex models where we have a number of independent variables, all right, and that is referred to as multiple linear regression. Here we just have one independent variable, all right, so that's called simple linear regression. All right, so I'm going to put the regression right on the chart. All right, so I'm going to right-click on one of the points, and I'm going to select this Add a Trend Line. All right, I'm using Apple here, but it's pretty much the same methodology as you would use in uh, Windows. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on um, options here. Okay, and then I'm going to display the equation on the chart. And I'm also going to display this R squared so we can talk about that a little bit. I click OK and then I move it out to where we can uh, actually see it. Okay, so this is actually the the model all right that's the linear regression so what we're saying is the y variable can be determined as 1.29 times the x variable all right plus this uh, intercept constant okay all right and uh, in finance this is called beta the slope of the line here it's called beta and it's often used to sort of measure a stock's volatility versus the the market as a whole okay so uh, stocks that are uh, below one beta all right below one slope uh, are seen as less volatile or 
perhaps having a, a, a lower return in general than the market as a whole, and stocks over one are seen as more volatile or maybe having a higher potential return than the stock market as a whole. Okay, um, Just for completeness, I should say that uh, if the beta or the slope is close to zero, uh, then we're basically saying that security, whatever it is, is uncorrelated with the market. So let's go ahead and see what gold looks like. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the equation on the chart, right click on the points, add a trend line, okay, and um, I'll put the R squared there as well. Okay. So here's the equation for gold, and we can see that, yes, it's very close to zero. You can see the trend line. It's almost flat, so really no slope there at all. Okay, and so this is pretty, pretty conclusive that, you know, gold does not follow the stock market to any degree. It sort of moves on its own. All right, and this is why a lot of portfolio managers like to have gold in their portfolio. Uh, since it's uncorrelated with the market. All right, I'm going to go back to this chart so we can talk a little bit about R squared. So R squared is also called the uh, coefficient of determination, okay, and it tells how well the model actually fits the data. Uh, more precisely, it tells us what percentage of the variance in the Y variable, Apple in this case, can be explained by the variance in the X variable or S&P 500. All right, so we can see that about 27% of the variance in Apple can be attributed directly to the market. Okay. All right, and the interesting thing here is if I flip this around and made Apple the X variable and S&P 500 the Y, I would get a slightly different equation, okay, because the slope would be different. All right, but I would get the same R squared. All right, and uh, Around this time, a lot, of, a lot of analysts were saying, oh, the stock market is going up uh, because Apple went up. So instead of uh, using beta or uh, regression in the traditional way, uh, they were flipping it around and saying, oh, the stock market's going up, and, and that's because uh, Apple went up. Okay. All right, I'm going to show you one other uh, method. All right, because Excel actually has a lot of built-in methods for... Uh, for dealing with regression since it is probably the most popular statistical technique out there. Okay, and uh, so there's a spreadsheet function, all right, it's an, an array function called line est. Okay, so you saw that I selected two cells first. Okay, so that's how an array function works. It works on more than one cell. All right, and so this is going to give us the slope and the y-intercept. It's essentially going to give us the same equation we got on that chart. All right, so if you want a shorthand method for, for doing regression, you can use the line est function. For an array function, uh, you usually use more than one cell. All right, since this one only has two outputs, the slope and the y-intercept, I've selected two cells first. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to select the known y's here and then the known x's, okay, and uh, I'm not going to use the other two optional arguments, all right, so I'm just going to close the parentheses, and to make the array function work, after I close the parentheses, I hold the shift and the control key, or command on Apple, and then press enter, okay, and it, it performs uh, both calculations uh, simultaneously, all right, so you can see that Okay, yeah, we got the same uh, equation that we got down here. All right, and then you can use the equation, as I've already done here, to forecast, all right, so we can forecast Apple returns using S&P 500. All right, so basically what I did here was I took this equation, And I multiplied it by the return of the S&P, and then I added in the intercept 
and the forecast return there is uh, just over 2.2%, uh, all right, and then we can compare that to the actual return, all right, and if we uh, subtract one from the other and square it, we can estimate how well this model actually fits Apple returns, okay? All right, so both those methods are really uh, shorthand methods for uh, conducting regression. So uh, the easiest way is to basically make the chart, put the equation out there. Uh, if you want to add some uh, functionality in the, in the spreadsheet that you're working with, okay, you can use the line asked function to estimate the equation. All right, and if you want some more technical uh, statistical analysis of the regression, all right, so we have not tested whether or not the, the slope is actually significant, all right, uh, and among other things, um, you can actually use the, the data analysis tool pack for that. And uh, I have a separate video uh, where I cover that. So I hope that helps, and uh, thanks for watching.